Today we're going to look at the DOS Soundbox Pro. Now, this is a Bluetooth speaker that's unlike any other Bluetooth speaker that I have tried of any of the brands. And it has some pretty unique features on here. I think you guys will agree. I, I, you know, well, you'll have to wait to see it, but this thing is fantastic. It's clearly the best portable Bluetooth speaker I've tried to date. Today I'm going to look at the DOS Soundbox Bluetooth Stereo Speaker. We're going to unbox this one today. I'm going to demonstrate it and we'll, we'll compare it to a couple of other Bluetooth speakers and we'll even take this thing apart. This is the uh, specifications. It's Bluetooth. It has stereo pairing, features extra bass, party lights, it's waterproof and it'll run for 12 hours from the internal battery. So let's open this thing up. Take a look at what's in the box. There's the unit. We're just going to rip into this thing here. And there's the speaker. Comes also with a USB charge cord. It just, just uses a standard uh, micro USB, so it comes with a standard cable. So before I pair this thing to my phone for testing, let's take a look at the specifications. So here's the specifications. It uh, features Bluetooth 4.2 plus EDR, has a range of 10 meters or 33 feet. Output power is 10 watts per channel and it uses a 5 volt 2 amp uh, input for charging. The battery is a 2200 milliamp hour 7.4 volt lithium-ion battery comes with a one-year warranty and a list of all the different buttons that's on here I don't think we need to go through all of those but if you want we can certainly cover some of them so you have power button to turn it on and off uh, extra bass volume up and skip to the next track volume down skip one track back um, add enter into TWS mode you press and hold you can also answer phone calls through here and you can change a mode button changes party light color etc plus and hold uh, hands-free charge speaker play via micro SD so it has a micro SD card in here or micro SD slot interesting we'll have to play around with that feature on here as well I should also point out on the back you've got a USB charging port it's got an SD port for putting an SD card in and it also has an audio input so you can use this just as a speaker with other devices so you don't have to go through Bluetooth if you just want to plug it into another device that has a headphone output you can use the audio in but we're going to test it with Bluetooth so I'm going to turn on the speaker so I press the power button turn it on and it'll light up and lights light up green on the front and I'm going to go into Bluetooth mode and search for it Okay, hit scan. Soundbox Pro. So I've just paired it now. And it's now connected. Let's uh, see how this thing sounds. Now, so that I don't get hit with uh, copyright strikes on this, I'm going to have to limit each of these clips to about eight seconds. So once the unit is paired, and it is stereo because it has two speakers on it, once it's paired, you can start to play some music. Now, I can't play music in its entirety on this. I'm going to have to sample some tracks, but we're going to play around with this unit here a bit because I'm quite impressed with this thing so far. And I'll just start playing a track here and uh, we'll see how the stereo imaging is from this single speaker. <laughs> course, you can change the color of your, uh, you can change the color by pressing the mode button and that'll change the color of your party lights and of course the play pause button will control the phone and you control the volume it's actually a very good sound I'm quite impressed with the uh, sound quality off this thing it's uh, and I'm gonna I'm gonna actually compare it to some other ones here we're gonna listen to them in a minute but we're gonna play around with this one for for a few minutes here said she had a word to say now, I can't play these tracks for very long otherwise I'll get nailed so I kind of have to skip through them relatively quick here A 
There's a button on the top here for extra bass. Definitely stereo sound from the one speaker, but this unit here features something that I've never seen before on a Bluetooth speaker. And that is, if you think that stereo sound, you know, some people are gonna say, yeah, but you know, what type of separation are you gonna get? You've just got one speaker and your speakers are like, you know, four inches apart. Okay. So you got a second one, you power it up. This is where it gets interesting. Get this button on top here that says add. You're gonna press the add button down and hold it for three seconds, right? And then it'll start to blink and press the add button on the other one for three seconds and you will pair the two of them together. I think I just unpaired it. Here we go. And then I press the add button on the second one and the lights will blink as the two units pair with each other. And there we go. Um, we have paired the two of them. This one's paired for the left channel. This one's paired for the right channel. Hmm, things could get interesting here. Wonder if I'm still, I may have to repair it to my phone here. I might be still paired, let's see. Nope, I have to repair it to my phone. So I'm just gonna go back into Bluetooth mode and uh, go into my Bluetooth and there it is. Uh, Soundbox Pro, we're connect, gonna connect. And now I'm connected. So now when I play some music on here, the left channel is going to come out of this speaker and the right channel is going to come out of this speaker. And we can control everything from either speaker. So if I press play on here, dial down the volume on both units at the same time. How cool is that? Even if I change the mode for the lights, the lights are going to change for both the left and the right speaker. If I change tracks, that's a brief demo on pairing this thing to a phone I want to try I want to try the SD card on here so I've got my royalty free content I'm gonna just plug it into one of these speakers I'm curious will it send the second channel to the other speaker hmm I'll plug this little SD card in here and see whether it will play I don't even know how it goes in it goes in that way. Yeah, it goes in that way with the contacts facing up. Okay, now when I press... Okay, so it only... 
we please on one speaker? good use I like that feature I really like that feature because you can you can take your favorite tracks if you don't want to be playing it from your phone and not everybody wants to you know not everybody wants to play music from their phone lots of times I want to just listen to some music I'll take some music I'll throw it onto a uh, little micro SD and play it off that that's a great addition that you can do that a great feature that's a great feature that you can just pop your little SD card in here, fill this SD card up with hundreds and hundreds of tracks, and it will play them. Here's a little fun fact about how to play music from your SD card. It should be 32 gigs or below. If your card is larger than 32 gigs, format it to FAT32 or FAT, so use a smaller card. Don't put a 64 or 128 gig because it won't read it if it's in EX FAT. Supports MP3, FLAC, WAVE, and WMA, and says plays in the order that the tracks are copied. So it's going to play them in order. Just drag your tracks over in the order that you want them to play, and that is what this is going to play it. It doesn't have a random feature. It just plays them in the download copy order when you copy them over. So that is uh, that's how that works. And, of course, it only plays from one speaker. If you've got two of them paired together like I did, that only works when you're pairing off Bluetooth. Uh, another feature that uh, it, it has is, I'll stop this from playing here, I'll take, out the, I'll take out the SD card because that is what determines whether it's going to play from the SD card or whether it's going to play from the, uh, the Bluetooth. If I turn off the second device, which I've just done, you'll notice that the ad light has gone out. And that's because I've only got one speaker on. Now, if I start playing something on the phone here again. Okay, I get stereo sound out of this speaker. If I turn this one on, it's going to pair automatically and take the right channel. This was the second device that was paired. There we go. Now, both of them are paired. Now, if I turn this one off, We've gone back to just a single speaker mode. This one's now off. If I turn this one on again, it will it will pair to this device. Okay, now we have both devices paired. But if I turn the main device off, the first one, it turns both of them off. So how this works is you pair your phone to the first device, if you're going to use two of them, and then you turn your second device on, press the add button on the first device, press the add button on the second device. Once the two units pair together, your phone is paired in stereo to speaker number one, which decodes the left channel and then the right channel information is sent from one speaker to the other. Uh, both of them have control, so you can change tracks and change volume from either speaker or from the phone. If you turn off the second speaker, it will revert back to stereo operation on the single speaker. If you turn off the first speaker, it will turn the other one off. So if I turn this one on, I don't know if it's gonna turn this one on or not. I think I probably have to turn this one on separately. So this one's now on by itself. This one's not on. If I play. Now if I turn on this speaker, it is now going to rejoin the stereo link with the primary speaker. Which it just did without me doing anything. And now we have stereo sound. If I don't want this one on anymore, I can just turn this one off 
and this one will go back to stereo operation from the single speaker. Now I want to do a comparison with some other ones that I have here just so you can hear the difference in the sound quality between a stereo speaker and a monaural speaker. So now I've got this I've got this little uh, Model Q1 which see, it's been dropped a few times now and it's all falling apart. I gave this to my daughter. She beat up, beat it up. Power switch is there, I think. Yeah, that's okay. it. This is your iPhone 4. I'm speaking. You gotta be kidding. I am now in control. <laughs> you cannot resist my command. You turn this thing on and it does that every time you turn it on. <laughs> I mean, it's like, huh, hello, this is a little kitty speaker, but let me find this one in the... Uh, in the Bluetooth settings here for this one and it should be looking for it, it should be able to find it here if it's scan, yeah here it is the uh, Q1 Plus will pair this one and we'll just take a little quick listen to the difference in the sound between what we were experiencing out of the stereo setup on the, the DOS and this thing here which let's say the sound quality of it isn't too bad but it's uh, Certainly not as good as. Well, I guess I got to do it from this phone. Hear the difference in the sound quality between a mono speaker and a stereo speaker. As I say, this one here is hilarious because if I turn it off, I turn this thing back on. This is your iPhone 4. I'm speaking. I'm now in control. You cannot resist my command. <laughs> Come on! You know, we should. This is what. It's almost embarrassment. Is so I gave this one to my daughter. I said, "Here, you can have this piece of crap." And another one here, which is uh, also a uh, a mono speaker. So this one's now set. I can go back and play stuff through this one, and again. But again, I think you can appreciate the sound quality of stereo versus mono. Plus, this one's three watts, and the, these ones are 10 watts per channel. And when, I guess when you're running this in two mode, you're gonna have 20 watts here, 20 watts on the other. It just went loud, I can tell you that, it did go loud. The only thing I haven't done on this here is I haven't paired it to my phone to make a phone call. So maybe we'll try that feature. I'll turn this thing here off because these ones here are garbage. Uh, let's just try making a phone call on this one. So it's going to pair this to my phone and uh, phone myself. So I've now paired the uh, DOS speaker to my Samsung and I'm going to call it from my test phone and uh, we'll, uh, we'll see how, how this handles incoming uh, phone calls. So I'm just going to phone it now. Don't worry the number that shows up. That's my test number. So. I don't have to worry about anybody seeing that number. Okay, so it rings. And to answer it, I can either just answer it through Bluetooth or I can answer it just by pressing the button on top. And uh, now you'll hear me, uh, hear me talking to you through the Bluetooth speaker. So that's uh, that's how this one works. It, it works great. And then when the call is done, when you hang up, it should uh, it may return to music or we may have to press the button here. So let's see what happens when we hang up the phone. Okay, so it's now hung up. Just wanted to make sure nothing else showed up there. But to play music again, I can just tap the button here on the top. And that'll go back to playing music. 
or if I make that phone call again, so I'll phone my number again, and we'll, I'm going to hang up this time using this. So I phone it. either through the button or I can answer it that way as well that way as well and uh, if I just, and, uh, if I, just I think if I just press the just press play pause the button here this pause should button disconnect here, this which it does disconnects it and then uh, press it again and it returns to music so that's how the uh, the function works with the speakerphone and if I were to make an outgoing call, uh, I'm sure if I were to phone my other number here, uh, it would uh, come through the speaker. So let's let's try that. I'm just going to go into phone, and I'm going to uh, phone the number back. There it goes. I can answer the call. Hello, hello. There it goes. See. Now I'm I'm talking now I'm, to my other. Cell phone back to this one, and then if I just hang up, I just press up, the. Just uh, press the yeah. And it goes back to music. So that's how uh, simple it is to use the speaker for a making a phone call or receiving a phone call. But the sound quality is great, and uh, I only had the one speaker here. But if you had both speakers, the sound actually I think comes through both of them. But I'm only testing that with one speaker. I figure you guys might like to see what's inside one of these things, so let's see if I can pry this thing apart. Let's see if I can open it up. I think these are just clips that hold this thing together. I might be wrong. I may end up with only one speaker when I'm done with this. I may end up breaking one, but We'll find out pretty quick whether this thing's going to come apart or not. It comes off the front. Ah, there it is. Okay, we've got some screws under here. Let's take this thing apart and see what's inside it here. screws oh there's no screws under there I probably didn't have to take out those pieces from the edge there but let's see does this pop out or does it not this should just hold the speaker in I believe I'm just curious as to whether there's any other whether there's any other uh, screws holding this thing together as I don't see any. See, now that you guys have seen one of these taken apart, taken apart, you can go and buy one and don't have to take it apart yourself to see what's in it. Just let me wreck it for you, right? And there's another circuit board in the back here. What the heck? Okay, maybe it'll come apart now. Ah, okay, it was the speakers that were holding it in. They're actually screwed into the base here. That's what was holding this up. And this is for these are for the lights. So you have to t actually take the speakers out to get into these units. The speakers themselves plug in. And the battery, I want to see the battery if I can. And what is that? Is this there's another wire going up here? Oh, that'd be for the microphone. The microphone's right here for the speaker phone. Because this does have a full uh, speaker phone in it. So when you get into the battery here, I think this, will, this little catch should release the battery. I think. There's a cover that holds this battery in place. I want to I want to see what cells, what cell it has in here. There we go. There's the battery pack. Lifts out. The battery pack has a plug on it too. It plugs in. Unplug it down here. Okay, there's the cells. Looks like it uses a couple 16 or 18 650s in here in this pack. 
So the batteries would be replaceable if, it, if they needed to be replaced. There's the battery pack there. Yep, just standard 18650s. Two of them. And here's the electronics board. I don't know if I can get that out or not or whether it's going to be too difficult to remove that. It's got all this plastic molding around it. foam around the speaker so that there's no vibration problems with wires vibrating. <clears throat> here are the power amplifiers here. There's the, these are the, it's a class D amplifier. You can see the, uh, the chokes for it. It's 10 watts per channel. So it's, yeah, it's a fair bit of power. I just don't know how to go about getting this bracket out. I don't want to break it. Oh, there's a couple screws down there that might remove this. You know what? I'm gonna. I'm not gonna take that apart. We don't need to see the board. I might disappoint some people, but I've got ribbon connectors and stuff down here that connect to the back for the uh, the SD card, which is gonna have to all be taken apart. I really don't feel like tearing it down that far. I guess I could take out this cover and remove that as well. But uh, I think at this point, from looking at what I can see here, I don't see any. I don't see any issues with the build quality of this thing. It looks to be pretty good, and it's, the sound quality of this thing is, is excellent. So I don't want to destroy this speaker just in the name of taking it apart. It's got a bass drone on the back, a bass, a bass port on the back and the front, right? So I give you a little deeper bass from the, the back side of the speakers. So I'm just going to put the... Uh, I'm going to put the battery back in here. We'll just put this thing back together. As I say, I, I don't want to wreck this thing. Battery pack goes in like this. But I got to get the, uh, I got to get the screw. They got to get the power back into this thing. The battery pack sits in like that, and I gotta get the power down into the power plug. Like that. Okay, I should be able to throw this front panel back on now and put the speakers back in. quite ingenious the way that they, they put this thing together. Use the eight screws to hold the speakers in place to actually hold the unit together because that way it can be screwed together tightly and you saw the nice rubber seals on there that uh, and the foam on the on the speaker leads to keep vibrations to a minimum. I didn't expect to see that actually in here the quality that I saw so everything I've seen on these speakers so far um, yeah I don't see you know, it looks to be pretty good pretty well made and they certainly you know for the size of the speaker they sound great I think that uh, anybody who buys one of these speakers and they, they, they came through Amazon so it's not like I'm buying these things from from some uh, company in the Far East these were distributed by Amazon the link is in the description You got speakers mounted in again. We'll put the uh, mask around here. We gotta make sure that the microphone is not covered up, otherwise this thing won't work as a speakerphone. 
there is a procedure to put these back together and it is these clips that I took out from the end they actually hold this in place so you actually have to put the uh, the light grill in first because there's catches that have to go underneath here so we put those in like that and then put the screws back in and then the speaker grill should snap back in I think Now the speaker grill should just pop in there. There we go. Now the grill's back in together. Let's uh, let's test them and make sure that they both still work. Turn them both on. And we are connected. Yep. There we go. Everything's working. There you have it. The DOS stereo Bluetooth speaker. Either one or better with two. Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll catch you again in the next one real soon. Bye for now.